Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com today showing how to scan and repair a single file using System File Checker. So typically most of you are familiar with the SFC System File Checker. So you do the forward slash SFC space scan now and you scan your entire system. However, when we're running repairs, we don't always have that option because we need to save time because we're wasting hours trying to find a problem. So if you think you know what file is causing the problem, we can scan just the one file and save some time. Now, before we begin, step one here, as you can see in the guide in the background, which will be linked to, sometimes Windows 10 in particular, you may need to run DISM. It's the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool. Typically, you can type this in right here if you get an error trying to run the command, and that'll fix it. If not, you may have to go through all three of these steps before you can use System File Checker, but you might already be aware of that now. And you'll see something like this where it can check Windows Update, make sure you have all the files you need to do any repairs. So the actual System File Checker is as simple as SFC space forward slash scan file equals and then the path to the file, as you can see. Here is a list of all the possible switches if you want to do anything a little bit different just verify integrity etc and again at the bottom it does mention this is the most common error so if you run this command right here that we just discussed and you get a windows resource protection could not perform the requested operation you're going to have to come up here to step one which is why it's step one even though it may not be step one see what i mean uh, try it first and see if you get the error it's nothing to lose if you don't get the error and it works cool we're good to go. So you want to start PowerShell or the command prompt. You can find it buried in the start way down here somewhere. It might be Windows Administrative Tools. I always forget. PowerShell. So Windows 7, stuff like that, you'll probably find the command prompt as well, depending. You probably want to run it as admin. Windows 10 users can press the Windows key plus X and just hit Windows PowerShell as admin and click yes on that. And let's minimize this and we'll just show you real quick. How we did it here so just to use a temporary file we just did sfc space forward slash scan file c a n f i l e note there's no spaces after that so and it's not case sensitive so you can you don't need to bother with uppercase lowercase i just type it out so we'll do windows say explorer.exe and you'll get one of two error messages not error messages you'll get an error message if something was corrected or vice versa. So you can see it here, I got them listed here. I don't think error message is the correct way to say it. Windows did not find any integrity violation, so boom, you can move on. It's not a problem with that particular file. Probably in your case, you know the drill. And of course, if it found corrupt files and repaired them, you may have solved your problem. So there you go. So you do the SFC space forward slash scan file equals, and you have to put in there the exact path to the file that you want to scan and press enter. It's usually very quick. And as you can see, obviously, I'm not fixing a problem, so we didn't find any integrity violations. But as you know, if you do the SFC forward slash scan now, it takes a long time to run. So what a time saver, at least I think so. So there you go. There's a nice, simple way to scan and repair just a single file using System File Checker. Hopefully it helps some of you. As always, thanks for the new likes and subscribes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.